Hi, hello. This is Ambasam, Assistant Professor at Nansen's College of Technology. Uh, in the previous slides, we have discussed about the various uh, mobile cell layouts, uh, like uh, inlaid robot, uh, mobile center, and um, uh, continuous. Uh, apart from that, we have discussed about uh, the transfer lines and the continuous and synchronous, non-synchronous, and the intermittent transfer lines. Uh, similarly, these are the uh, design layouts we are considering here in considerations. Um, Similarly, the worksheet layouts has to be taken into consideration uh, while we are going to discuss about uh, the important key features, how it has been taken a vital role. Uh. So now we are going to discuss about uh, the next process, how the design consideration has been taken into consideration, especially in the robotics uh, work cell layout. Uh. So the designs are most important and the considerations are taken into a part where how it has to be developed and how it has to be taken into consideration and how it has to be taken uh, to develop the robot performance layouts. Uh, as I said that earlier, to, uh, now we are going to do the presentation. Um, just a minute, I will open the presentation right then. So the considerations of work cell layouts is important when I compared to the other. So as I said that earlier, right, uh, the, cons the most consideration important is the modification to other equipment in the cell. The second one is uh, part position and orientation. Then third one is part identification problems, protect the robot from, uh, from its environment, then utilities, then control of work cell, and finally, the important factor is safety. So as I said that uh, important safety purpose, uh, the modification of techniques can be done in order to interface the robot to equipment in the cell. Special pictures and control devices must be devised for integrated operation. For example, the work has to be uh, hold nest, convey, stop, uh, position, and orientation of parts of the robots. Uh, so similarly, like a changes to be done in the machines to allow by the robots uh, and also uh, use the limit of switches and other devices to uh, interface the components. Uh, so on the parts, position, and orientation, uh, when the parts are being delivered into a work cell, the precise pickup locations along with the conveys must be taken into consideration. Conveys must be established. Uh, similarly, the parts must be known position and the orientation for the, um, uh, the robot to grasp accurately. Uh, and also, the, all the parts are being processed and the orientation must not be lost. Uh, the way of achieving the above must be designed uh, for an automated feeder system. The design of the way parts are being present to the work cell must be provided for. Uh, so similarly, the uh, part identification, the part identification problem, if there is more than one type of parts, uh, there will be a uh, necessity to identify the various parts by automation means, such as optimization techniques, uh, manually techniques, or limit systems that can sense different sizes and different geometries. Uh, the ultramanality tagging may be also used in the palace so that the parts are identified by the information carried out by the information card. Uh, and production of robot from its environment. Uh, so now the robot has to be protected from the environment in various applications such as spray painting, uh, hot metal working conditions, abrasive applications, adhesive sealant applications. The robot has to protect from the uh, possible adverse environment. Uh, example, by using the sleeves or long uh, grippers, this can protect the robot from its environment. Um, then uh, utilities, uh, the requirement from the electricity or uh, air, and also hydraulic pressures or gases for furnaces has to be considered uh, considered for providing in the uh, utilities. Uh. So the activities of robot must be considered uh, coordinated with those of the other equipments in the work cell layout. Uh. Apart from that, uh, the human safety, uh, the human protection measures such as uh, fences, barriers, safety interrupt systems uh, with the sensors in and around the work cell must be provided. Uh. The, uh, the, uh, must, uh, the most important comes to even at the early stage of design. These are the early stage of the designs. Uh, without this consideration of designs, uh, the robots uh, work cell cannot be developed. Because if we develop without considering these uh, seven important futures, uh, the important considerations, uh, the robot cell has been designed, means there will be into a design instead. So either the robot can damage or the worker can damage, the part cannot be finished in accurate positions or the uh, multiple pro uh, production process will be an, uh, into a question mark considerations uh, will not be into a question, make question mark. The, so the production rate will be lowest. So if the production rate, the economy will be count down under and the company becomes a developer. So the, these considerations be taken into a robot works, uh, perform the robot, uh, robot by using the robot cell considerations. Uh, 
without this and the robots should not be designed and the robots and design should not be considered once the design has been placed and accurate the production rate will be increased and the uh, the value of the company will be go higher or the production rate will be higher so this design has to be taken into uh, points has to be taken into consideration uh, to while designing the uh, proper say, work cell design and ro proper works uh, work of the robots are. this is uh, that's all about robots and design conversation in the next video we will discuss about the next topic till that bye bye thank you signing off from samson assistant professor ss college of technology in the department of engineering in climate thank you bye bye